What's going on guys, Exotic here. Today we are going to cover the 99% CPU occupancy and I will show you some changes that you can make on Windows and as well on Content Manager on how to get a very big gain in performance wise and as well some of the options, what they do, uh, how to change the options to focus more on your CPU load or your GPU load, depending on which is better in your PC system configuration, of course. So first things first, fellas, we're going to close this. We're going to go into MS config, basically a system configuration. We're going to run that. And you can see I am already in the general settings and I have usually you'll be on normal startup. I am on selective startup. So we have the, make sure to select this here. We're going to go on services and you'll see, you'll pre pretty much get confused right away because it's full of services. You're going to hide all the Microsoft services. You want to let them in and you can see right away here, all the garbage is running. All this garbage is running at the moment that we don't want. And this is taken out of your performance. So why would I need Steam client service? If I, if I remove this and I restart the PC, etc, etc. We start a PC, I want to launch a set of courses through Steam. I run Steam, Steam will ask me for permission. I click install for the service because Steam will want to install the service or I, and I allow it. Then I will get the, the service and the game will run. But in the meantime, why should I allow Steam to run in the background just taking, uh, even if it's small amount uh, in performance we're speaking, but like... Uh, Eventually, you know, fellas, 1% by 1%, drop by drop, it's stacking up, right? I don't need Rockstar. I don't need Origin. All these uh, platforms for games and stuff like that. Wondershare. At the moment, I don't need Wondershare. I don't need G-Hub as well, update service. But if you have G-Hub, uh, you might leave it there. The GoPro as well. Such a, I only I'm going to leave. I have the VPN here, Epic Online, Corsair. Literally everything can go. I don't need it. I can leave uh, the Bluetooth driver, the NVIDIA. Uh, maybe you can leave the G-Hub. It shouldn't be a problem. Once you have cleaned up all the garbage that is running, and I'm telling you, this is a big performance boost. You don't believe me? I was recording with OBS. I tested the OBS in-game, and my computer on the triples was stuttering. It was literally lagging, stuttering. I didn't have any smooth gameplay. I had to give up on some tracks, on some maps. Uh, I worked on the CPU, GPU optimization on Content Manager. Some of the stuff helped, but like this was the major one. Content Manager as well, once I started touching some of the settings, then everything combined made a huge difference. So we're gonna apply we're gonna save the settings now it's gonna ask us for a restart but we we're, we're not gonna restart right now but to make the changes to apply and to get the the effect you will have to restart so keep this in mind if you want pause the video restart and come back so now we're gonna continue once you've done this and uh, we're gonna continue on content manager uh, we're gonna go to custom shader patch and we will be on the general patch settings tab so first things first files we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to the important stuff everything here pretty much you just leave uh, leave as it is i don't touch them uh settings audio i uh, added this uh delay or oh, the sound with the distance because I, I think it's realistic to have this uh, sound delay. Physics tweaks. So I've tested most of the stuff. Uh, this is good. Uh, it's making it faster. Uh, temporal caching for collisions improves performance as well. It's good. So this is good. This is good. Disable softness for deep collisions. This uh, this is really good. This helps. I've tested this if you like it, but I honestly just for me keep this off because like once you once you collide with cars it can send you off map and stuff like that uh, so screw that option going to optimizations like everything that's selected uh leave so here's the big thing this is literally the most important option because you want windows to effectively spread the threads uh so you want to select this let the window spread the threads effectively don't let a uh, content manager or just set a course of the, just the game to spread them because it's not going to be as optimal as your windows next it reduces draw calls lowering cpu and gpu load of course the pretty common sense to leave them but we're going to go over to the red ones that i have selected so if you have 
a bit of memory like RAM and your RAM is fast you can select this option so I don't have too much gigs of RAM like I have 16 gigs of RAM which is low and nowadays we have to be completely honest this is low uh, however I like to use this option because it's it's helped me load faster uh, but we're gonna go on to the performance one so screw this one this is up literally up to your preference going to this saves a bit of CPU time might increase GPU load now as I spoke earlier fellas we're going to put the settings here and optimize based on CPU and GPU depending is your CPU more garbage than your graphics card in general I've seen that more people are like me my CPU is dog s and my GPU is actually better so my GPU is uh, RTX 270 super and my uh, CPU is Ryzen 5 uh, 3600x what we're gonna do is because I use a lot of CPU for recording and stuff like that I'm gonna remove the load from the CPU and throw it on the GPU in my case but in your case if your CPU is better you might want to remove some load from the GPU and send it to the CPU right so even though I can run this option I'm pretty sure I can run the force kill tests I don't want it I want to make sure my CPU is chill right so or or can barely manage with everything so what's a uh, force code test do might decrease GPU load by adding some extra CPU load for me this is a no-go but honestly if you have a decent or good uh, CPU and GPU feel free to use this if you're not recording feel free to absolutely use this why do you use this saves a bit of CPU time might increase GPU load again back to the topic I, I don't want to remove some CPU time right but if you want to have more CPU load you might you might not use this uh, even though it's it's very good uh, this option here runs in separate thread taking account into I think you should use this definitely uh, the speed up skybook reflections pretty self-explanatory so basically most of the options we you see from CPU GPU optimization most of the options will be used anyways I've used almost every single option I just decided to remove this uh, for now to see how it goes and uh, I'm pretty happy with the windows changes and so on absolutely this is a 100% um, to uh, check mark you should probably consider this if your GPU is a bit better than the CPU uh, advanced calling definitely this is optional completely optional if you just want a faster loading if you don't bother don't use it because it's gonna use a bit of memory for the loading and for four skill tests honestly fellas if you if you don't recording games stuff like that I I think this is a good option as well uh, for this why I say optional because fellas you need to understand when you go to these big AI servers that have like 80 slots and so many AI and stuff like that even 60 16 gigs of RAM is low for them so just to summarize real quick fellas if you have 99% CPU or occupancy uh, definitely use this don't use this at all cost don't add CPU load at all use this for sure use this in any scenario even if you don't have the 99 uh now pulse hidden apps i think this is very good to use you don't want apps to um to run why, why should you let uh some of the applications that you don't see and stuff stuff like that uh, run in the background taking some even if it's one two percentages sometimes one two percentages make the difference right this is absolutely 100 percent check mark uh you should use this remove unnecessary nodes in scene graph um this one disabling might help with some more function i i, I think th you can leave this as normal i never dived in too much into that and these you can leave to pretty standard oh most of the most of the time like uh, all the settings are already set up so you don't have to touch much but we're just you see how one two options can be super mandatory and uh, make big changes and going into GPU optimizations uh, of course optimizing the pretty much on GPU everything honestly everything rearrange to reduce overdraw improve fetching like this is improvement this is by far the most major one that was not checked by default use new DDS loader much faster texture loading also might reduce VRAM consumption experimental option might not work with some textures why this is amazing but not only faster the texture loading reduces VRAM and going back to uh, my explanation I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut it uh, I've cut it that in the video but going back to my explanation of the AI when you go to these big AI 
my servers fellas a lot of cars this 16 gigs of ram for myself that i use uh is is low they take about 20 30 sometimes and you won't have smooth gameplay so reducing the vram consumption will help you to go into these big ai servers so this is a major one by far very very important settings and uh, here there's not much to cover however going to the fps limiter if you have major drops in fps i advise you to use this it will improve smoothness uh, it will add a bit of a small stutter but i mean it's better than it's better than freezing and like uh this major fps drops on your uh, screen freezing for two seconds then you see someone crashing into you uh, while you can prevent the crash and just have this small stutter and stuff like that uh, and you know what's happening right you will know the spots on where what on the track where you lag from what you lag and you'll know which settings uh eventually to like start touching here on the video because you can see uh i'm i will definitely make a different video about the settings and the uh, uh, graphic stuff but like you can see fellas uh msa when you click like you see 10 percent this is taking 9.60 of my performance when you check this is one percent when you check the shadows three percent and you see it's six percent and it stacks up so you see how important it is to have all the settings made up correctly it, sometimes it's not only the pc it's also having very good optimization on the settings and so on so one more thing that i want to uh cover before ending this video we mentioned this prevent ac from altering threads affinity leaves it to windows to spread threads more effectively all right let me let me show you something fellas i want you to do control plus out plus delete then you select task manager now once you open task manager i want you to go to you by the way here you can see your performance what amount of the cpu the the memory and so on is uh, taken the gpu so you go to details you see a set of course dot uh, exe right acs dot exe so you go to set affinity and i want you to check all the threads here that you have on your processor to use for the game make sure everything is selected make sure you have this that's that's very important i wanted to cover this one more thing when you go for set priority i want you to set the priority for set course to high then i want you to go to content manager and you can uh as well set the priority of content manager to high as well all right so we've tested the game now what i want you to do is go to this search bar here we go to startup startup apps and i want you to go to your windows startup and see all the unnecessary apps that are starting with your computer trust me fellas i done all the stupid mistakes i had literally my whole desktop right here filled with apps literally the whole desktop you have no idea how much load you're putting on your computer what you want you to do like epic games off cortana off vpns whatever hamachi ghub messenger microsoft everything that's unnecessary it's off you start the windows clean clean start fast start as you're sure now that no unnecessary applications for example when you start and your steam is on that's not okay in my eyes so steam should be off also one more thing else we want to go to settings to privacy and you want to scroll down to background apps so what literally i need from here is windows security and video control panel and the goddamn clock so fellas the last and very important thing that i want to cover will be these two disk drives but the best advice i can give you is keep your desktop clean don't put unnecessary pressure on your windows to load all the icons and crap you see i use a taskbar you can literally pin everything to taskbar if you want to play a game just open steam don't be lazy honestly you see i'm honest don't be lazy open steam launch it from there if you put all the icons here it will become a mess i'm telling you then you are asking yourself why your windows is slow and so on so the final thing and the most important c and e my windows is on c my games are on e i'll keep it very simple so my asset of course is here my windows is here what happens if my c goes red to drops to 10 gigs my windows will start to lag and stutter and even freeze it happened recently with my c with my e as well why it's starting to freeze because there's not enough space to, for windows to operate normally it's getting close to rock bottom absolutely the same story with e if with if my e drive goes to 10 15 gigs and i'm playing a zero corsa 
My Sun Corsa will not run smoothly. It will not be a smoother gameplay. It will start to lag, it will start to, start to stutter, even freeze, because there is not enough space. So that's it gonna be for today, fellas. Please let me know in the comments down below if you got big performance gain, did you try the methods? I will really appreciate any sort of feedback. For now, please like and subscribe because 99% of you are not subscribed, so please subscribe, it helps me out. Wish you all the best and we'll see you in the next video.